In the lecture, we will learn steel connection design for steel truss, including the gusset connection design. By the way, did you know we have published a course on Udemy? The link to the course is given in description of the video. The course includes ETEPS and a 20-story building design along with a certificate. So the steel truss connection we are going to design as this video is shown. The steel truss with the members are shown and the model will be used in ETAPS. We have to design the gusset plate as marked 1 and provide structure drawings and the report of the connection design. The connection angles are provided as well. There is a 30 degree angle and 51 degree angle and a slight 9 degree tilt of the main truss member or the cord. So let's start with the RAM connections. I'll be selecting the frame option as the truss option in the RAM connections has very limited options while the frame connection has a lot of options but adding the brace uh, will automatically be defining it as a truss connection. We'll already be assigning only the axial forces to the brace so it will be as designed as a truss connection. So we have to add the left braces and the left beam only as we don't have any beam on the right and any beam on the or any brace on the right. So we'll only go with the left members. I will be adding the sections as we have any tabs. We can leave the setback as it is and the section to be defined for the left beam is a W shaped section. The W shape using the American standard wide flange beam W6 by 9 is the size we are having for the horizontal member of the truss. This is W6 by 9. We have to see the length. The length is 4.34 feet. So we have mistakenly added an extra member. So I'll be deleting this member by just selecting the right brace option from here. The lower right brace is an extra. So I'll be removing it from here. Similarly, I am assigning the brace members as defined for the truss as well as for the beam. The material utilized is A36. Uh, about the slope angle, we'll be working out with the slope angle right now as the braces are at slopes other than 45 degrees. So we'll be adding 30 degrees here and 51 degrees here. You have to see the sign convention if the diagram defines the angles as shown in the beginning then you can use the same numbers otherwise you have to minus the 90 degree from the angles let's only design the truss connection for the 
gravitational loads that is dead load and live load you can also add other load cases here if you have assigned or design in the crust design for time being i'm going only for the gravitational loads for demonstration purposes as we have trust members so we'll only be playing with the axial loads only so let's perform the analysis on etabs and extract the forces the maximum dead load the maximum live load maybe we don't have assigned the live load to this truss so we'll only be going with the dead load On the bottom left, I can see the value when I hover the cursor. So let's put the axial force here. As minus sign denotes that the member is in compression. The red color denotes member is in compression. And the yellow color denotes the member is in tension. So we don't have a right beam, but we have a left beam, which is in compression of minus 0.24 kips. basically this is our point of interest i was mistakenly seeing the wrong connection so now here our beam has the force as shown the compression force there is no left beam there is no right beam so i have to enter the force in the left beam top left brace we have here so the top left brace is having tension as shown in the yellow color or red load so the value will be positive similarly for the bottom brace bottom left brace Let's render the load combinations. Using ASC LRFT. So the load combination and the gusset plate connection has been assigned. Double angle wouldn't work because the main brace or the main member that is the vertical cord is very thin for it as we only have a 5 inch by 5 inch section. So I'll only be going with the shear plate connection that includes the welding of the shear plate. I would want this double angle to be converted to plate as well because the bolting in the vertical cord is not feasible here. Yes, this somehow works for me. So we have to reduce the number of bolts and the spacing so that the bolts and the plate fit in. Can reduce the thickness of the plate as it's not necessarily needed here lower left brace gusset to beam connection directly welded is preferable
you can also see other options no angles is not right and the plate is also not right so the directly welded option is ok you can change the weld thickness to quarter inches there is no right beam but we have a left beam we have an upper left brace Now we have reduced the vertical distances between the bolts. So it seems perfectly fine to me. Let's see why we are getting a yellow color here. There must be some errors. So the connector length is less than as shown in the table D3.1. So right now I won't be going to details of table D3.1. But just for demonstration purposes, I'll tell you how to increase the connection lens. Since the connection length is less for the brace, so we'll go to the brace connection because it to brace connection we can increase the length from here let's select the perfect correct material that is american material and a36 and the belt standard is e70 for united states well size is minimum quarter inches well length we can increase the well length from here which is given as 5 inches similarly for the lower left brace as a 2 brace connection I'll have to select the right material or the bottom one as well and the electrode for the welding that is E70 Now I have increased the connection length for this one, the bottom one. Now you can see the results here. The connection length error is still is there. So I'll be ignoring this error as I already demonstrated how to increase the well length. You can see the details in the table 3 T1. Now the shear plate length. We are running out of shear plate length, plate length limitations. The maximum value is 4.97 and we have a 6 inch high shear plate. We can fix this one. The left beam
Now let's see. We have reduced the vertical shear plate distance and dimension. It is 5 inches now, but the limit is 4.97. So we may ignore this. But uh, just for demonstration purposes, let's fix this. Or practically, we'll consider this as fixed already. So the problem is now fixed. The shear plate length is fixed. This is a 3D view of the connection. These are the drawings for the elevation of the connection. Similarly, you can see the other views of the connection. And most importantly, you can see the details of the plate and export them to AutoCAD in TXF format. Similarly, you can export the Word format report.